FaceTime with my kids, that would be more motivation than any food or water or anything that I can have, you know, seeing them hear me on during the race. Good luck for your race. Aww. Good luck for your race, too. And hopefully you win it because it's a long race. Yeah. It's long. two an hour, I think. No, it's 24 hours. Just, man, you know, that just gives you that extra drives. One of the biggest challenges this year is in previous years, you know, after the Trifecta World Championships, you had three to four weeks to kind of reset. This year you had six days, so that was a big challenge in itself. Always come into a race with that military background, 100% prepared, knowing exactly how many seconds I need to do each lap. For doing this for three and a half years, I think that took a little bit of the fun out of it. Something kind of goes off track in your calculations, you, you tend to get like more aggravated. But if you have no plan, anything that goes right is like, you're stoked about it. I'm here to have fun, like I am here to meet my goals. If I want to reach 105 miles, I still have a loving family at home that I'm supporting and at the end of the day, that's my primary focus and I'm you know excited to get back to them. Thought it was kind of, you know, possible to go at least a little bit further, you know, maybe get to like 80 or 90 miles before you're like, oh, it's, this is impossible. Yeah, right off the bat, we all just kind of fell off the pace and the course was very challenging. 2,000 feet of gain. I needed to make an important decision of, do I continue to go and hurt myself and potentially cause an injury that doesn't allow me to train how I want to for 2020, call it in and finish the race. So that's what I decided to do. When there's something wrong with your body, I mean, that's a different story than just lack of motivation. Like you have to make a decision kind of there for longevity. And this is the first time I've ever had to do that in a race. And I should have stopped at 30 and I still somehow mentally made myself go five more laps that I shouldn't have, but I did it anyway because I got competitive and the competitive side of me was like, hey, I want to finish on the podium. I still somehow managed uh, 10th place overall. I was like, hey, you know, just remember why you're here. A lot of people are inspired by what you do. You're here, you know, to set a good example for your family that you, you know, set a goal. You want to go out and try to achieve it and you worked hard.